Okay, so let's get straight to it. I've tried filming two videos this week and neither of them worked. I tried a what I eat in a day. You know, you'd think because this is going on the internet, I would fix this. So, it's gonna be a what I eat in a day. This is the first day in five days that I've actually... So as we know, or if you watch my other video, I was really sick. Then I tried to get on Friday to film a vlog. Good morning, guys. So it is Friday of my... I'm gonna drop something and i don't think i filmed any clips after that one so please enjoy today's video i have been at school for about one week been back at school loving it that's a lie i have five courses this semester last one was around seven and i'm missing so many it's stressing me out but you know what? we just might take an extra semester um so this i'm gonna show you guys kind of how I stay productive during the school times. Obviously, I've been in school for a week, so I don't have like loads and loads of homework. Not yet. But yes, so I get very stressed very easily. I get very overwhelmed and it doesn't work well for me. So the first thing I do, always make a to-do list. Doesn't matter if you want to color code it, if you want to make it on your phone, on a random paper and stick it on your wall. Sure, do that. Make a to-do list. Mine, personally, is color, co color coordinated in my agenda. So each class and then my regular day things I write in colors that aren't for classes. So that is basically just what I do. And then my other step is a clean environment. And I haven't cleaned my room in a week. You know people say like, oh, the your room is a reflection of your mind? Yeah, my room is a mess all week. You know what else was a mess? My brain. All over the place. So I cleaned up my clothes. I'm gonna make my bed. I'm like making my bed in every video that you guys ever have seen of me. But to watch it again. All right, I'm at my desk. It's very neat and tardy, obviously. Um, so the next thing I would say, always have a bottle of water with you when you're doing homework. And I know this is like, oh my God, what the heck? Like, what's the point of that? Hydration. Because if you're sitting here, some people can sit for like four hours and just beep, 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 boop. Drink water. Staring at your computer. Ooh, starting to get a little bit of a headache. I guess I should, what am I gonna do? You have the water. <laughs> this depends on the person, honestly, because some people like to full silence, some people like to have music on, but know your surroundings, know how you work best. So I work best having music on in the background, sad music on in the background that I know the words to. Because I cannot be listening to upbeat music and I'm gonna start dancing while I'm doing my homework and get distracted, no. But I also can't listen to songs that I don't know the words to because I'm gonna be hearing those lyrics and I'm gonna be trying to analyze them while I'm trying to answer my French homework. And that's not good either. So I have that. And then my favorite, there's this app called Flora. I found it from TikTok and it's basically a focus app. So you put on your focus timer and the time that the focus timer is on, you can't be on your phone. Like if you go onto a different app, you killed the baby tree. And it really hurts when it tells you Veronica Angel kill the tree like, you don't want to hear that and so like even in my agenda i have every week of what my focus time is and i try to get at least over 15 hours the the real real goal is like you want to get more than a day of basically not being on your phone but that's not always easy so this is my to-do list first day i have to finish a questionnaire for english i have to do my english readings i have to clean Excuse me, I can cross that off, do my French homework, and read for my French class. So, um, I'm gonna put on my flora. And yeah. One more thing that you should always, always do when trying to be productive is take breaks. I'm doing my homework for 30 minutes, taking a break. My aunt asked me to go on a walk with her. Well, I'm gonna walk getting some fresh air. Give yourself breaks. If you are going to sit for five hours straight, you're not gonna brain's gonna stop working like last semester 
I was writing an essay and I was getting really mad at it. And my mom's like, Veronica, take a break. Like, go back to it tomorrow. Did it, went back to it and finished it much quicker. Give yourself breaks, please. I'm about to fall asleep. So another thing I would tell you to do is to break it up. And you're gonna say, Veronica, you literally just told us to take breaks. Why are you telling us to do this again? No, break up how much work you have. So let's say you have French homework, math homework, science homework, English homework, half today, half tomorrow. Do not overwhelm yourself because you're either gonna get like so completely overwhelmed, you're not gonna do anything, or half of it will be like half. I don't really wanna do it anymore. So break up what you have. Don't do everything all at once unless it's like three questions for, per thing, just like super quick and easy, then get it over with. But do not completely overwhelm yourself if you don't have to. The last tip I will give you, sleep, okay? If you think staying up till 3 a.m. studying is gonna help you get the grades, incorrect. I know that because I like the class that I passed. So get your eight hours of sleep, get your seven and a half hours of sleep. Please just sleep. Thanks for watching, good night.